So in the previous video, we saw that we were kind of in a little bit of a awkward situation. The feature branch improve greeting had gotten merged in um, to the master branch, and that left the other feature branch, the one that we as developer two are working on, um, the goodbye button branch, kind of in an orphaned state because the goodbye button branch has these two commits, one of displaying the non-functional button, the other of um, uh, um, actually making it work, but they're building off of the initial commit where the master used to be. What we would like is that up here at the top, where the master now is, that building off of there was a commit to make a non-functional button and another one um, to make it function so that we could have um, you know, not not just one feature working in isolation, but working together with the other feature. And that's what we're going to achieve now in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to go and we're going to um, check out the um, goodbye button branch, our feature branch that we as developer two are working on. Um, and this branch in itself is no longer going to be very useful. We're going to just kind of abandon it, leave it there as it is, and we're going to start a new branch, um, which is just like it, but that we're going to set up to move, move it where the uh, master has gotten to. So to make this new branch, we go to the new branch option, and we're going to call this the goodbye button integration branch because it's for integrating it into the master um, branch. You know, some people will call it, um, you know, the, the updated version or the rebased version. We'll see why in a moment. Um, or, you know, the, the candidate two, maybe so that we could have multiple candidates. And what you call it is just something you on the team need to agree upon. I'll just call it the integration branch. And so at the moment, this goodbye button integration branch we've got checked out is essentially synonymous with the goodbye button branch. It still reflects these same commits coming off of the initial commit. But we're about to change that. What we're going to do is we're going to make real similar commits, one for a, uh, a non-functional button display, and one for a um, functioning code that are totally analogous to these two commits, but that are coming off of or in the context of the current master. So to do that, we go to our VCS operations, get, and we go down here to the rebase operation. Rebase is this thing of, of taking a branch and making a, a new version that is um, somewhere else, um, starting from a new base point. So the branch we're rebasing is our goodbye button integration branch, that's right. And we're going to do it onto the current master branch. So we're making forward progress. And um, we can click this rebase thing. And so the first thing it's going to do is ask us which um, of the commits on this branch we want. And normally we would want them all. We're going to pick the non-functional display and the working as specifying. And we say start rebasing. So it's now working on the first of those, the non-functional button displayed one. And it tells us it's suspended the rebasing because of a conflict. And we need to resolve those conflicts before we can continue. So the problem is that when we were doing the non-functional button display, that involved changing the layout. And unfortunately, developer 2's um, improved greeting also changed the layout. So we need to deal with how those, those fit together. So what do we do? This red, by the way, shows us we've got some unresolved conflicts in there. Um, we're going into the VCS get 
and we select resolve conflicts and it shows there are actually two different um, files with conflicts right now we're in the we got the activity main the layout selected we're also going to have to deal with strings and rather than just you know drop everything we did and take theirs or drop everything they did and take ours we're always going to choose this merge option and the merge gives us this window let me expand it out bigger so we can see more of what's going on on the left that's our change where we set up to have a text view and a button in a linear layout and on the right that's um, the other developers changed where they had refactored out the greeting. And in the middle, that's our, our merged version, which initially is just the, the version with neither change. And, and we're going to progressively modify the merge result so that it has the best of both all combined together. So the first change it shows us is that we introduced a linear layout. And that's a non-conflicting change. It's shown here in blue. Um, I can just accept that by clicking on this um, you know, double arrow um, indicator here. And so that just moved that right on into the merge result. But then I've got a so somewhat harder thing where these pink things indicate conflicting changes. Both versions are trying to replace this hello world part they're trying to replace it with the at string greeting. I'm trying to replace it with this whole big complicated thing of a text view and a button. Um, to get the best of both, what I'm going to do is I'm going to initially accept my change. So I apply that change with the arrow. And so that's now here in the, the merged one. And then I'm going to take advantage of the fact that these are really honest to God editing windows, I can do all the normal editing operations and not just accepting or um, rejecting changes. Uh, the, the two on the sides are read-only editors. I can't actually modify things there. But the, um, the one in the middle, I can do all the normal editing operations. So I'm going to take this at string greeting over here, and I'm going to do a copy on that. Um, command C or edit, I guess for whatever reason the edit menu isn't working, but command C will copy that. And I'll come over here to the old hello world fixed in there and do a paste. Say I want that to be the string greeting. So now this merge result is really the best of both. It's got the two items in a linear layout just like I wanted but it has the refactored greeting just like the other developer wanted. So since their change has already in effect been incorporated, I'm going to click this X that says ignore that change. Don't copy it in. All changes are processed, save and finish. So now it moves on and says well you still have this strings.xml so we'll merge that as well. So let's see, I have goodbye button that I want to add. They've got greeting that they want to add. It shows them as conflicting because they're going into the same place, but there's actually no conflict at all. I can accept both, just accept one and accept the other. Really the only issue was which order they went in. Um, and you know, if, if this were imperative actions in a Java file, it would matter which order they took place in. But here, just listing these strings could take either order. So I finish it. And so I've now um, uh, uh, done the first um, step of the um, um, rebasing, which was to resolve those conflicts, I need to resume the rebasing operation. So I go into VCS, Git, and down here, continue rebasing. Notice, by the way, there's an abort rebasing. If you just totally mess things up, you could start over um, by doing that. But let's do continue rebasing. And so 
it's going to save out a commit of this non-functional button displayed commit um, that's just my new version of this old commit but in its new context um, after the greeting had been improved. And so I don't really have any reason to change this commit message so I'll say yeah let's take that and resume rebasing and you can see now that building off the new current master we've got a new non-functional button display commit that's the one we just painstakingly did we've also got a new um, working as specified one that's where all the Java code is right here it is you know setting visibility and so forth it didn't stop and ask us to merge or do any manual things. That's because that one wasn't conflicting at all, right? We were the only developer working on this Java file. And that's typical. Normally developers tend to work in different files from each other for most of their work. So it was able to do that automatically. It says rebase successfully, successfully rebase two commits. So what we can see is that we've still got the old ones lying around here, this old development branch. We can later delete that if we want. Um, I would be slow to do that. Make sure that you really got the rebasing right before you delete anything. But we've got this new one here and um, we can check that um, it works. We can test carefully that both our feature and the other developers feature are working. Um, as desired and once we've got that and we're we're fairly comfortable with that we can go into the VCS and we can get push and so we're going to take our goodbye button integration branch and say it should go to a new branch of the same name on github and that's shown here and um, we can look at that on GitHub. Um, in the past, I've kind of manually gone to the browser and looked at it. It occurs to me, I can also show you, if you just select this particular um, point on the um, uh, uh, log here and do a, a right mouse, you can select from the menu, open on GitHub. So there it is. Um, with all our changes and so forth looks good. If we look at our um, branches we have two closed pull requests, one closed by being merged in, one closed because we gave up on it. Um, it was obsoleted. But here's our goodbye button integration branch and you can see it is now strictly ahead of master, so it's in great shape for a pull request. Um, we can create that pull request. Developer 1 can check that they, they like what we did, that it's all successful and ready to show a customer if need be. Um, maybe developer 1 is actually here looking over our shoulder, can just orally tell us that they're comfortable with it. Um, often it helps if people look at things together. Um, so then we can just do this merge pull request and we can confirm that. And um, if we look at the, the network graph, it needs updating, right? We need to, to do a, a refresh on that. You can see this green improving of the greeting got merged in. And then the blue goodbye button integration got merged in. And um, the master is now reflecting both. There's also this other blue dead end feature development before we did the rebasing. If we go back to our branches and um, we um, see that we've merged in these branches. Um, we could certainly delete the merged in ones, right? And in fact, even this feature branch, once we're really comfortable, we, we rebased it correctly, um, we could get rid of. 
although it's, it's you know, as I say, I would be less quick to get rid of it. Um, so we're now down to just a master branch. Um, if we go back to Android Studio and do git fetch so that our local world matches what's on the server and we do this refresh of our log. There's the origin master. You can see that there are no other origin branches but we still locally have a goodbye button integration branch, a goodbye button branch, an improve greeting branch. We could get rid of um, those one by one. So we could get rid of delete the goodbye button branch. Um, sure, let's delete it even though that loses track of a couple commits because we have better versions of the same ones. We can get rid of this improve greeting one. Um, we could switch check out our master branch, at which point we could delete the the integration branch. So we've cleaned up. We really just have the master branch now. Notice we're lagging behind the version on GitHub. If you remember the way I said to fix that is with the git merge command. And so if we say we want to merge in this origin master, um, then we're caught up to date. And we have this world with one feature branch got merged in, another feature branch got merged in. Turns out to have been a rebased one, but that's not visible anymore. And there we are, um, ready for feature number three.